Grass daggers is another metabolic problem that can affect cattle. To do with the seasonal spring pasture, days like today where it's cloudy, the grass is growing rapidly, but we've got it paired up with cows that are high producing and they're losing that magnesium through their milk and they don't have a big store of it. So we need to be there when these cows get magnesium and rapidly treat them. Now, I don't care if you're the vet or the farmer, you should know how to put magnesium, a magnesium solution under the skin in order to save these cows. So we've had a high producing cow uh, in spring. We've had a couple of cloudy days. So there's not as much magnesium taken up into the plant. It's, it's rapidly growing pasture as well. Uh, maybe the magnesium stopped being supplemented by the farmer and we suspect we've got a cow down with grass staggers or hypomagnesemia, then we reach for one of these bags. And these go under the skin. Never in the vein, always under the skin. So a couple of sites I can show you to put uh, magnesium under the skin. Now I'll do it over the ribs here, trying to find a bit of loose skin to jam the needle under. And I'll show you that, or on the neck. I try to put it in a couple of sites, so then we can uh, get quick absorption. So you pick up the skin and angling the needle underneath. Snap off your bag. Attach it. Now you've got to create the space in between the skin and the body. So it takes a bit of force squeezing on the bag to get it to blow up. Make sure this needle's attached firmly and then rub it in as it goes under. So squeeze, you're filling up that, you're distending the skin there, filling it up with magnesium and then rubbing it in so it gets absorbed as well. Spread it around. Okay. Rub that in. That's fine. Another site we can use to put uh, magnesium under the skin is on the neck here. There's loads of spare skin here. It's a great site to get get uh, solutions under the skin. You, if the cow's in lateral recumbency like this, flat out on her side, you may need to put a bit of weight on her head to st stop her from um, rising up quickly. She can fling you off, so be careful. Again, pick up the skin so you can make a tent out of it. Poke a needle in underneath. Up we go, roll up your bag so you can build up that pressure and squeeze it in. Gone a bit deep, there we go, and rub away, filling it up. There we go, filling up and then you've got to rub it in, otherwise we'll just sit there in a big pool and won't get absorbed. So you may need to guide your needle into a few different areas, under the skin, getting that weight on her head so she doesn't come up, or her neck, squeezing your bag to get your solution out and under, and then rubbing it in, pushing it around so you're more surface area for it to be absorbed. You've got to watch these cows, sometimes they can be aggressive, it's usually in the early stages, but they can be aggressive, they'll get up and they'll charge you. I quite often give them a bag of calcium in the vein, but we've got this jugular here at the same time. Great. Often these cows are twitchy and tremory as well. So take care, they can lash out with their legs. Just trying to get all that solution under her skin. She'll absorb that over the next wee while. See her right for the rest of the day. As long as she gets up again and starts eating, she'll replace her needs. The, milk, the calcium and the magnesium she's losing through her milk. As long as she keeps eating, she'll absorb that and continue to produce. So we've finished our magnesium solution. Just pull out the needle, again, put pressure on it, stop it seeping out of the skin, and rub that last bit in. Good as gold. <laughs>